This is the Schmidt Amphi Blast. This unit is capable of blasting dry. It also gives you the ability to blast wet. This specific unit is a six cubic foot, two outlet Amphi Blast skid that comes with an integral 185 gallon water tank. The unit is capable of blasting with two outlets, either both dry, both wet, or either or, one wet, one dry. It makes no difference to us because we stayed with a dry vessel that you're accustomed to. We are injecting the water at the point of the blast hose connection to give you that dust suppression. It's a very simple unit to operate. It's a simple unit to maintain. These valves located on the bottom of the pressure vessel are simply the water valves. It turns your water on, turns your water off, should you want to blast dry, want to blast wet, or as you release or engage your dead man. These valves are very simple in operation, and our tests have shown that they've been extremely reliable. These valves are simply water drain valves. At the end of the day, or whenever your unit is taken out of service, you simply open these valves to relieve the water pressure that the snubber tanks will have in them. End of the day, normal shutdown procedures, you'll want to drain the water systems by these valves. At startup, you'll simply want to close these valves back off before you engage the system again. The amphi control panel is very simple. We have a primary regulator which dictates tank pressure and blast pressures. We have individual or independent water on off valves. And then we have a water pressure control regulator, one for each outlet. The gauges above the water are a differential pressure gauge so you know how many more PSI of water you have compared to your blast pressure so it ensures that you're getting water into your blast stream. Normal operating parameters is somewhere between 5 and 15 pounds of water forced into the air hose. Depends on your abrasive, the dust quantity, etc, etc. Another feature on the control panel is the wash down feature. Once the blasting operation is done, you need to clean the workpiece off. By simply moving this switch down into wash down mode, the blast pressure is reduced to 25 or 30 PSI and that is adjustable by this regulator. When you drop into wash down mode, drop that blast pressure, it increases the quantity of water that you receive at the nozzle to allow your operator at a relatively low pressure to wash the workpiece off. By switching back to blast mode, your operator then goes back to whatever his predetermined blast pressure was with the same amount of water that he was previously blasting with. At this point, our Amphi Blast is in a safe mode. My air supply is off, my vessel is depressurized, I'm ready to add abrasive to it, and we're going to walk you through the steps of setting your blast pressure, setting your water flow, and then setting your abrasive. Once we have shown that, we're going to take this unit into wash down mode and show you how it enables your operator to clean his workpiece. And then we're going to take it to a dry mode to allow your operator to dry that workpiece off. So at this point, we have abrasive in the vessel and I'm ready to energize this vessel. I've already turned my air supply on for my compressor, so I will come and I will close my exhaust valve and I will open my air inlet valve to pressurize this system. Once I have the vessel pressurized, I'm ready to turn the water pump on. By opening the air valve on top, the pump will start cycling and at that point I'm going to momentarily crack this drain valve to help prime that water pump. Give the system a minute to catch up and once it reaches its operating parameters the water pump itself will shut off.
The next step is I'm going to open my choke valve that supplies air to my blast hose. At this point, we're ready to set our blast pressures. So I have a man on each nozzle out there, and we're going to start both nozzles up at the same time, and then I'm going to set the blast pressure with this inlet regulator. Both operators will come on. At this point, I'm ready to call for water to my nozzle. So I'm going to have one operator at a time start their nozzle and then I'm going to give them water by turning this valve on and preset the pressure which I prefer. And for, to, for this video, I'm going to run 10 PSI differential from water over air. Operator on. So I will call for water and it will take a, a couple of seconds for the water to get to the nozzle. The entire length of hose has to get wet. Later, to set my water pressure for this video around 10. Now I'm ready to repeat the process on the second outlet. So I have my blast pressures preset. I have my water pressures preset. I'm ready to add abrasive to it until I get a full blast pattern. In order to do so, I'm simply going to turn the Thompson Valve 2 control knob counterclockwise from a closed position. I'm going to have to watch my nozzle and listen to my blast man out there to ensure that he's getting a full pattern. He may need a little more abrasive, which would simply mean that I open this valve a little bit more to give him enough abrasive to cover his cut. Before I start blasting, I have to open this manual abrasive shutoff valve to allow abrasive into the Thompson valve too. We're ready to see the blast pattern to determine whether we need a little more or even maybe a little less abrasive. Just my experience tells me that we're a little lean on the abrasive because we did not get a full pattern. And I'm going to open one quarter of a revolution. Now let's see what effect that had on my blast pattern. So because I was counting my revolutions, I know that I'm three and one quarter turn out on my Thompson valve too. So I'm going to go to my other Thompson valve too and preset that nozzle, knowing that I'm going to get the same quantity of abrasive out of that nozzle. So at this point, I'm in blast mode. Both nozzles are wet, and both nozzles are going to operate at the same time. So now, let's say it's the end of the workday, and we're ready to go to wash down mode. So my operators are going to turn the abrasive cutoff switch to no abrasive, and then I'm going to go to the machine and simply toggle down to wash down mode. This will leave the water pressure the same, but it will reduce my blast pressure, which increases how much water I will get for a wash down, but at a lower pressure for the ease and comfort of the operators. Very nice example of the wash down feature. Lower blast pressure so your operator isn't working to hold 100 psi on the nozzle. A lot more water just to flush that work surface. At this point, I'm going to turn the water off to both nozzles and allow the nozzles to run dry so they can actually dry that work piece. By simply pushing the switches back in, my air pressure is going to stay the same but I will get no water now. Understand though that the hose is wet and it will take 30 or 40 seconds for this blast hose to dry. So 
So again, we shut the abrasive off, I've turned the water off, the nozzles and the hoses have dried out, so your operator now can sit out there with just the compressed air and dry that workpiece off so you can get your testing done and you can get a coat of paint back on. The next thing we want to show you in this video is that this amphiblast is exactly what it says. It's amphibious. It's wet or dry. So the next step is we're going to take the same system and we're going to crank both nozzles up dry blast just for a short duration. In order to do so, I will come back and take my unit back to blast mode and everything else on this unit stays the same with the exception in that you might have to add a little bit more abrasive. We're going to start our nozzles up and we'll make that determination. In order to take this unit out of service, the first thing we have to do is de-energize that unit. We have to relieve all the pressures that are contained in it. In order to do that safely, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my compressor source and shut that system down. Now that I've isolated my compressor out of the equation, I'm still pressurized from my feed line and my entire system. But since I shut the compressor down, I can now relieve the pressure out of this vessel. And by relieving all of the air out of this system, I know that my feed hose is also depressurized, so at this point, I can shut my inlet valve, disconnect my hoses, and on, on the air side, I'm fine. The last thing I need to do, though, is depressurize the water side. So I will come back, and I will shut my inlet valve off, and I will shut off the water supply valve to the pump itself. At the end of the day, the last thing I'm going to do by these drain valves is I'm going to allow the water pressure out of that system so I have no static pressure in this vessel while it's out of service. Once you have done such to both outlets, this unit is in a safe mode. You're free to disconnect your hoses and do whatever you want to.